Good morning, boys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm over here wrapping my boys at Misfit Racing today. And we have a motor that's going for their car soon. Speaking of motors, we're gonna be shipping out a uh, stage four block today. And we got a whole nother shipment to pick up from out front today. So like I've told you guys, if you've ordered a motor on the website and it's been a little bit of time, then most likely your block just got into me. So you guys will be seeing that today. I'm gonna get this one shipped out. And I wanna give you guys an update on the shop. I went ahead and I messaged them as well to see where we're at with the lease. Let me just light adjust. And they always get back to me really quick. They got back to me, but unfortunately, they're still not ready to go. So the buildings I stopped by yesterday with Josh on our way home, and they have made some progress. They're starting to put siding up and put the insulation in the buildings, but they're just not ready to sign a lease yet. So I'm in the waiting zone, guys. I. Wish I could speed it up. That way I could get these cars out of here and we could get them into a, a shop environment, get our shop, start setting that up. But it looks like we're just gonna have to be patient guys and wait. Um, the backup shop that I was telling you guys about, it's really tempting to go do it because that one's obviously already built and ready to go. And it's really tough because I want to do that one. It's just not in the area that I want and it doesn't have very much parking for uh, customer cars so that's obviously the biggest thing that I worry about is getting a small place and outgrowing it you know so I'm already kind of getting a smaller place anyways a 30 by 50 shop but it has that bullpen outside and that's what's really appealing to me is that we can put 10 cars in there so that's what's kind of really pushing me to get this other one and wait now the other one and I know a lot of you are going to say to get it is right next door to Devin so you guys know I was talking about that. Devin really wants me to get it. I'm just torn, guys. I am i don't wanna get it and then not have enough room for cars and then be worried about cars sitting outside because they're gonna sit outside side in the parking lot there no matter what. And it's a nice parking lot, don't get me wrong, but just, you know, you worry. So here I don't ever worry. And that's why I kinda wanna be in that shop environment. So just an update for you guys, just to keep you in the loop, keep you, up to date of what's going on in normal life. I know we haven't been continuing on with our daily uploads this month. I really have been trying guys. It's just, it is a lot of freaking work to do daily uploads and keep up with everything. So I'm gonna see how we can do, see if I can uh, start doing more of the daily uploads throughout this month. I'll try my best guys. Um, there's gonna be a lot of stuff going on this weekend. Alex is gonna be here working on his car. I'm gonna be picking up his cylinder heads today. He's gonna be putting that together. Um, we have another stock motor STI that's coming for a tune that you guys are gonna like to see. Um, Stefan's car, I have almost all the parts for his car. So I mean, a lot of stuff is going on. Now we're gonna get the block. So I'm gonna have the block for Kittrick's old car, Anthony's STI back there. So we need to pull that thing apart. This blue STI, I believe the last of the parts will be coming today. So I mean, it's just down to me guys. And I haven't showed you guys this one. We got this beautiful 04 STI over here and I need to diagnose that thing still. It's just a matter of being one of me and there's not enough, but I'm doing my best and I'll try to keep these videos coming out for you guys. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Be a part of our channel, subscribe please and like the videos, it helps out a lot. You guys have helped me out a ton on the website lately. So thank you so much guys for all your orders. I think I'm pretty certain I have to check. The wife usually deals with all the orders, but it looks like about 99% of those are all out and shipped to you guys. So you guys have been awesome. Um, like I said, I'm gonna go ship this block and then we gotta go pick up another shipment. So let's go ship this thing and get on with our day. Well, one block is shipped off now. Now let's go pick up this bigger shipment that you guys are gonna get to see. So you guys are gonna see how much you've been supporting on the website. So let's go see guys. All right, boys, we are here. Now I'm just waiting for them to bring the shipment out. Once they bring it out, show you guys what we got. So now we gotta play the waiting game for a moment here.
there we have it guys four bucks we're back home now we got josh over here so dude and we got our pallet of engines in here that i'm gonna have to unload one by one because uh i don't got jared to help me <laughs> jared. i don't have a forklift so we're gonna have to oh, unload the things one by one oh ready to pack these things inside yeah yeah uh, and we're dealing with some good old children in the background. Isn't that right? Yeah, some grown children. Grown children. I had that silver blah blah as you guys saw this morning parked over on a uh, good old Bob's side. And uh, I came home and we're having some parking wars here apparently. So they uh, pulled closer to the other cars so I can't get them out. So we took this blah blah out because I needed to go out and diagnose it anyways. And it has a smoking issue. So we moved that and then they quickly replace the car that was in the driveway where it was so grown ass children can't wait to not have to deal with this shit can't wait why does it have to take wait. so long to get a damn lease to sign on a shop why let's go it's all i'm waiting on I'm ready to go ready to sign this shit ready to be in a shop not deal with this still gonna have to deal with it because i still live here but at least at that point i have my driveway and we can park in the driveway so we're gonna get these things unraveled here which Sure, that's gonna be fun. Are these metal? Yeah. Oh, he fuck. Got snips. Uh, sure we do. We, we got some hard freight. Yeah. Snips. Damn, that's fucking. Yeah. I didn't think those were metal. Yeah. Totally ship this stuff. Shout out the out front here for getting these all out. He still has a bunch more that he's got to ship to us, but this at least gets us a good start on this. And you can tell I'm wearing Mister Misfit Racing Vendetta shirt. His block is in here, so he's very excited right now. Shirt is very fitting today. So let me grab these snips and uh, we're gonna get these things unloaded. What's up, part time mechanic? Part time. Part timer. Look at you, you're finally back. Oh, what do you got here? Ooh, I'm gonna tell Dan you're cheating on him right now. No, don't do that. What is that? That is uh, Killer B. We support our boys at Killer B, obviously, as you guys know, the race car. But we that support thing. Torque Solutions just a little bit more. This thing has Killer B pan on it. This is all race car, you can tell by salvage title. But we support both. But I'm sure Dan, if you're watching this, he's gonna be a little sad that old Alex went killer beef. Nonetheless, good unit here. He ought to pick up, baffle, everything for this thing to work. And of course, when I bring the camera out, he freaking disappears. Hey pal, where'd you go? Hey. Oh, you got more. I was showing you. What else did and you get? Everything that's visual is Torque Solutions. So I'm not cheating on Dan. Got a bunch of shit, man. Fuel rails, oil. Oh, cabinet. you got one of these. Yeah. Look at yeah, that. Yeah. We got some Vivid TI in some here, guys. Torque solution. Guys, if you want this, it's literally in the link on the description. Chick in three days. Dude, you can't beat Josh. Look at that. Who doesn't want these on this car? Right. That's yeah. what you got there. What is that? Okay. Ooh, Just blue. As engine dress up stuff. Just to match, you know. No. I tried with the gold fuel rails. That yeah, you didn't with, really match anything. Well, that was, with that was like blue. your first time ever trying to put colors together and it looked like Omar's Barney mobile. Well, if we would have had the blue AMS that actually worked, it might have Damn. actually worked. I like this. They rounded off the edges more now. They used to be more sharp. There's a blue pitch stop out somewhere in the pile of shit. <laughs> Whoa, language, pal. Oh, sorry. Monetize on. Dick. So. Hey, language, pal. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't get me there. All right. Alex is finally going to be getting this pile out of here so that we can actually have some more room. This pile. <laughs> this is going to be your fastest car next year, pal. Is it? No, I don't know. Let's about go. That. Josh already has me beat until I smoke turbos. Josh has us all beat right now. I know, dude. He fought hard for it, though, all season. Yeah. <laughs> they made him work for it. He went out with a blast. Lots of pissed off with days going home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your motor here. He's got to get obviously his new oil pan set up on there because this thing has a good old stock pan on her. And he's gonna have to get this thing cleaned up. Your heads are all done. Those yeah, are back. Finally. Some new S3 cams. 6870 on kill. Quad digits are bust. Let's go. It's gonna be to the moon with Twin that 68 that you try. 6870. So I'm excited. He's gonna be working on this thing in the background. And we got a new person on the channel as well. Oh, what is this? How's it going? You want to introduce yourself to the channel? Yeah, my name's Chester. And he likes to party. Yeah. Our kind of party. We're going to be the stock block killers here. So we got Chester's 2019 beautiful STI. Stock long block. 6466. Yep. 
.82 housing. I do kind of wish we had that 105. Yeah. You know, I do have one in stock. <laughs> <laughs> it's been one of those days of them. So we're changing some parts on the car to get it ready to go to the moon tune. And uh, we're hoping to get a good trap out of this car on the 17th to back up these claims. So this car previously made 604, 28 pounds. Um, he said that his best trap was right around 118 wheel, but it could have been having some intake temp issues that night. So we're gonna try to prove our numbers like always, like with little RA girl over there, which she's gonna be coming back out to the track. She's still going, she's nice and strong. Well, FP green that could. <laughs> so we're gonna see, we can get the 6466 to out trap that little FP green. <laughs> I, I would sure hope that we can. So, 50 pounds are bust. Let's go. That's what we come to see, right, guys? Yep. Come to see what are the limits? Where can we go? How strong are these 19 STI motors? Which, let's be honest, they're all the same motors. I don't <laughs> care what you say. They're all the same shit at the end of the day. But we will see how far can we go with this thing. And Chester here, we already know we're talking about the motor build. So, don't think that this is going to be your daily driver 100,000 mile car at 600 no. wheel. Obviously that's not realistic and I don't want people to miss take yeah. information away from don't, us. Don't do this to your daily please. No that was one of my first questions <laughs> to him. Is this your daily driver? And he said no it is not and I was like sweet let's party. <laughs> that was how that conversation went. Yeah and, so, and do you have triple A? Yeah do you have triple A? <laughs> so obviously the biggest things with stock motors guys is just treat it how I don't know. They treat you how you're going to treat it. You know, you treat it like a race car. You'll have the race car problems, as I've mentioned before. Um, we're going to be treating it like a race car. So we're going to see if we don't have those problems, though. Yep. <laughs> and hopefully, I'd like to see, what do you think, 135 trap? 138 trap? I think we can do it. Stock motor? I think yeah. we can do it. It is a pretty heavy car. So obviously, we're making some jam at that point. You know, she's a full week yeah, we'll monster over here. If it doesn't hit it, I'll, I'll, I'll take the doors off. <laughs> we'll jeep it. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the doors it, off, doors, make it look like trunk. a jeep. So, everybody, welcome Chester. Hey. He is part of our team, and I think he'll be a good addition to the channel. You guys will have a blast with him. So, don't be roasting him about no stock motor. He's like, oh, is that thing going <laughs> to last? me. <laughs> we'll, we'll go stage five. No oh, worries. we'll keep going. And then this will be, you know, 7685, and then we'll just keep Pro going down the spiral. Pro Mod 88, I'm in. <laughs> uh, that is my dream team right there. <laughs> so, it's going to be a busy day today in the background. We need to tune Chester's car. He's all the way up from Seattle area, along with part-timer over here. He's, Same, bro. he's from good old liberal view. Nah, uh, I ain't from there. I moved there for money, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do me like that. <laughs> so, I'll never want to be introduced like that ever again. <laughs> <laughs> That's him all day. <laughs> I woke up this morning to this guy wearing a mask in my kitchen. I about kicked him out of the house. Dude, what the hell, that's dude? That's the life I live, dude. You gotta understand. You wake up, sleep. What? Who is this? Ooh. Another nine second pause coming up. Can we make everything fast? I just want to make everyone just fast. Okay, it's a drug. Oh, what, you leaving me? Bye. 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 A little update for our day. Looks like Alex is making some progress here. We have one cylinder head on and all the way valcor on everything other cylinder head going on right now we're getting ready to put this thing together and what do you got there guy this is a twin scroll 6870 oh shoot you've been waiting for a hot minute to use this thing i know dude brand new so it went bigger 1.15 ar <laughs> hell yeah bam that's, that's brand new touched. not only are we doing that but then we got chester over here we decided we wanted the full fen party, right? Yep. So I had a 105 housing sitting around for a 6466. That's right. And uh, we decided we're gonna be men and yeah. put the largest housing we Just can on a 64. Right and we're gonna party. Do I hear Travis? I'm pretty sure I hear Travis coming. I didn't even know he was coming. Oh yeah. Should've known. Here he comes. Oh, oh hi, sir. <laughs> oh, sorry, my 
clutch is acting all funky and uh yeah i don't know what's going on there it accidentally revved for some yeah it pulled the rpms up on the car yeah weird um, i actually brought it over for you to feel the clutch and see what it feels right okay I just did the adjustment in the throttle bearing what's up guy hey. long time no see all right, right oh First time i've been on your channel in a while too i don't know let's see how this girl feels oh it's been a minute since i've been here it feels so yeah. good What's weird is if you put the clutch in and you try and act like you're gonna flat foot through the gears, it start to catch a little bit. Really? Yeah. So we go test it? Yeah. Huh? Looks like we're going to test it. Uh, wanna go take it for a little drive? Sure. What map's on it? Uh, street. Yeah. 36, 38 pound. We'll send it for the boys. Maybe he'll send me the footage. I think he'll send me a footage. Probably. You want to see? Now, now we need to go fix the uh, coupler that we blew off. We gotta fix the piston rings you fried. Oh, you shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we blew a coupler off. There she is. Oh yeah, I found the problem. It's the exact one that I thought it was too. Hey guy, I got a Boomba. Yeah? yeah. For like 750 bucks or something? Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Brand new, they're 800. It's only got like 50 passes on it, 750 bucks. No, it's brand new. <laughs> I just want to give you a hard <laughs> Look at old girl. Damn. Yeah, we blew a coupler. I'll put the whole video in for you. He'll send it to me. Yeah, I got you. And the old girl As soon as ready. you said we blew a coupler, I knew exactly where it was. I was like, shit, I don't think I tightened that down. Mm. I tightened it down, but I didn't hand tighten it. That's all right. She <laughs> still rips. <laughs> There's an indent right here from tightening this one down so much. Really? Yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> she thinks you're available to go to the fair. Right, right now. now? Yeah, they're trying to go right now. Are they right out now. of their mind? Whoa, whoa, whoa! They were supposed to give us a two-hour heads up. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're I ain't trying to go to the fair. I got a, a tuna car. This is what happens when you throw a bunch of blondes together. No. They all get in the car and they think that they know exactly what's going on. Kelsey said, "Give us two hours heads up." Let me call this woman here. Well, you made some progress, bud. She is on. Almost ready to party. Almost. Had to go grab some lunch from a good old gas yeah. station. Travis took him. Mm -hmm. Now, we just gotta finish putting this thing back together. Oh, you're gonna drive me nuts of this. How do you put your tile upside down? Explain yourself. <laughs> oh, cause, cause I, I didn't, it's the recirculating one. Oh. So I, I didn't Why did you buy a recirc one? Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? I, I think it was, uh, the the open one was back ordered. Oh. So. Well, all right. I'll let you get the pass now on that one. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is almost back together. Just it's some... the made in USA that's clocked correctly. See, there you go. Most important one. Yep. So, this thing is literally just intercooler pipes and some small stuff away. Oil feed. Tighten the oil return. Don't forget that one. Okay. Uh, let's go check in with Alex over here. It's a beautiful day outside. It turned out to be so nice today. Maybe on the little bit warm side. How goes it here, part timer? Well, you see, you being a professional, tell me to do this when I take it apart. Yeah, you gotta pull all the bolts in one box. <laughs> that way they don't go anywhere. Putting it back together is like, uh, where's Walda? Oh, come on, I'll line them all out for you. Look at that, you got the other head all the way on by yourself. Yeah. Now, if it leaks oil, that's on you. Yeah. Do you put sealant on this? No. I'm just kidding, yes I did. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna kill you. Yep. Well. So now I need your spark plug uh, information here. Yeah, you're a shit out of luck. Well. Ow. I'll gap them and put them in myself. I'll take them back out and check. I'll smack them on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll have to buy more of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna help them get these bolts lined out here and then uh, looks like the camera's starting to die. But we are gonna go start tuning Chester's car here soon. I got the map built. That thing's almost ready to go. We put a AM5 bar map sensor on it. We changed the 6466 from the 0 0.82 to a 105 housing on it. And we changed the AOS, you guys know how I feel about them. We changed to a competition instead of a street series. So we got that taken care of. That thing is pretty much ready to tune. Map's built. This thing's almost ready to go in the car. Just gotta get all the timing components on. Oh yeah, you gotta time this thing. Yeah. 
Oh, I've never good done luck. it from this state. From I'm this out. state, I've never done it. <laughs> I've changed the timing belt, but not like this. All right, well, let's get this AVCS line on that you forgot. And then let's go down to getting those timing covers on and get Sorry. it timed. You're a good teacher, man. You should fucking open the... Ah, shit, I can't cuss. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're fired. Well, anyways, I was going to say, you should freaking open a school, dude. You're a good teacher, man. You're just saying that. No, for honestly. Camera. Honestly. Everybody's going to start begging you to teach them. <laughs> Get fucked. 20000 a class. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to help this rookie of the hour here. All right. Stock block 1000 time. Hey, pal. I just wanted to let you know we don't support 6466s here. <laughs> 6870 or bigger or bust. All right. Let's do the swap right now. Right now, 6870 on this beast. I don't have any more here right now. All right, we're in this scene. We're gonna go out, start tuning. Um, things idle in pits right now. ID 1700s, dual Walbro 450s. So we are gonna start going out. Good morning, guy. Good morning. How far did you get? Oh, I see a complete lawn blast back there. Yep. I already dropped this thing in. Yep. But first, we need to pull all two foot apart here because, as you guys probably have heard us talk about. Alex has now gotten the turbo kit off of old series gray. So the twin scroll kit is now gonna be his. You guys saw our experience of it. I didn't really care for the legginess of it. I was kind of forced into this one. You were kind of forced. I think a lot of that legginess though on this thing is that 1.15 housing. I told you guys I have the housing here for it, but in the end, Alex wants to race. This is what forced me into it. And when he got his turbo from Precision, they made a mistake and they sent him a 6870 but it is a twin scroll housing on here so now the downside of that and why that makes us a deciding factor of him getting that turbo kit like i said he wants to race this year we only have a couple more race days coming up and this housing has been out of stock for the last what it's been two, like two minutes? and a half months yeah two to three months for the housing there's no eta they just keep moving it out for getting the v-band housing for this so he has a v-band ets turbo kit that we had on the car before i'm just going to go ahead and swap him he can use this it will make more power anyways on this twin scroll kit than we would on the v-band because where we're going with this thing we're going to max out that t3 v-band anyway so it'll be interesting to see how that twin scroll housing does on here i'm excited i think you're just going to have to really drive the car as far as keeping it in the boost because mm -hmm. i do believe it is not going to be a flat. quick spooler girl flat foot to the moon so today we are going to be working on this thing and some of you guys will be wondering because the last clip was with Chester on the stock motor and this dang GoPro died. So we didn't get to record anything yesterday when we were out tuning. And when we went out last night, there's no way this thing would even pick up anything because it's so dark. So he's going to be stopping by before he heads back home today. And I will let you guys the numbers on that thing because it is pretty impressive of what it did. And I am excited to see that thing go to the track and see what that car traps. But today our focus is getting this turbo kit off of here. And I might start working on uh, Stefan's car if I get enough time. But our, I guess our main focus is just we're going to go ahead and get the turbo kit off here. And then we're going to get Alex's car in the driveway so he can start getting his engine in the car. And hopefully it should be pretty straightforward because I think we're going to put the whole turbo kit on outside of the car. Kind of like what we did in here. It makes it pretty straightforward, pretty simple once it's in the car. Um, I'm curious on the twin scroll kit if I can even get it out with the motor being in the car just because of the design of it so we'll see about that i'll let you guys know and i'm gonna just jump right into this and get right to work yeah welcome yeah yeah kind of ways mike lv i don't wasted enough of my time i'm gonna need that back it's all about the time with the i've been roll out a line like i I'm so done with the lies, that's why I ain't got no time I ain't got no time Ah, uh, here's stock motor killer coming Yeah, there she is Still got something in my damn eye from this car What's up? Morning, guy. Morning. How's the car? It feels good. Fast? I got yeah, something ready to turn it up some more. Are you ready to go faster, huh? Yeah, ready to go a little faster. Oh, I already fucking sent something right in my eye. <laughs> Trying to get this thing out. 
So, you want to tell them a little bit about yesterday's adventure? Yeah. Our first where adventure. Where should we start? Yeah, where should we start? <laughs> well, you see, our first pole, we, uh, we, and as when I say we, I tried to kill the car. Yeah, we blew off the map sensor. <laughs> so when I put the boost controller on, I must have been talking or something, but mistakes were made, and the bottom of the wastegate line got put to the top, which when that happens, it literally will not open the wastegate at all. So very first pull, even the boost cut didn't catch it in time because of how fast it came into power. Car saw 47 pounds on the first pull. Yeah, 47 pounds, Woo. made over 400, had like 4,000 RPM. <laughs> Thing, yeah. Yeah. 47 pounds, it was coming in tough. Obviously there wasn't much timing there because that hit a spot in the timing map that was very low. But in the end of the day, a lot of boost. Blew the map sensor off. We spent some time trying to figure that out. Oh yeah. Then we finally got that figured out. Almost had to walk back. We almost had to walk back. It was pretty bad. We had no service, <laughs> camera was dead. And then from there, we put it on 25 pounds, conservative timing, conservative boost. Mm -hmm. The car made 460 and 430 on pump gas. So. Pretty respectful numbers yeah. for pump gas for it for stock good. motor. And then we started playing with E. Oh yeah. Oh, we had a we had fun on E. E was a blast. Oh man. So we ended up 34 pounds on E85. This is a 6466 with a 105 housing. Car made on our virtual dial. My computer is inside, but it made 596 and 534 torque is yeah. what it made on our virtual dyno. So I'm really excited to see what the car backs that up with a trap speed because we are going to go to the track. And obviously he has big brakes because it's 19 STI, so we don't have any slicks for it. So usually you guys know we want to go for an ET, but oh boy, here's gonna have to get some slicks eventually for yeah, an ET. Yeah. But for now, we can focus on the trap speed, back up our horsepower claim on it. That's more important to us anyways right now. And I mean, it's running super good. Oh yeah. It's done many poles too. Yeah, I was doing poles on the way here. Yep, yeah. and she's taking it like a champ. Oh yeah, the tune's good too. Thanks good guy, MPG. I appreciate it. Yeah, cruise good. Good. auto mapping, yeah, cruise as well. It's makes me nice happy we had it up higher on more boost i'm not going to tell you guys what it made <laughs> on it because we're going to save that one for the track uh we had it all the way up to 37 i think i think it even might have almost hit 38 pounds on yeah. that map um but i was getting some boost oscillation in the wastegate table or just the way the car was reacting to my wastegate table so i wanted to correct that before we left it there yeah. and he left on it so i went ahead and backed it back down but the car has been on I, 37 to 38 pounds and it hasn't pushed a drop of corn. Nope. And let's just say it was dancing in fourth gear. Yeah. That's all I can say. This thing is <laughs> fast. We were literally went to the sketchy. center of the road. Yeah, it got <laughs> sketchy. Let's just say that. <laughs> we had a blast. So was it worth it coming up, it dude? It was worth it. Dude, thanks for yeah. coming up. Just terrorizing the wilderness at 2 a.m. Nothing better than yeah, that. Yeah, we got back at 2 a.m. So if you look like <laughs> I'm tired right now, other than this shit I got in my eye from gray here. I'm tired because it was a 2 a.m. trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then we were back out here working on Alex's car, but he had to come back because, well, we had to say bye. Yeah, and plus, a sticker. Yep. Lanyard. Yeah, represent the BBR. Maybe we'll go out and do one more hit. Yeah, we Maybe. Can. Yeah, set up the launch control. Ooh, oh, the launch control. So that ruins your ride home. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. I'll probably let him just drive it home. <laughs> we'll save it for the track. <laughs> we did enough pulls last night to last us a lifetime, so. <laughs> Let me grab him some stuff. He's going to be heading out, guys, but you will see Chester, I'm sure, a lot more on the channel. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see you at the I'll track day. Around here. On the 17th, we're all going to the track yeah. day at Renegade. So, yep. any of you guys want to come out and see us, say hi, definitely come out to uh, Renegade over in Yakima on the 17th. I believe it starts at 5 this time. I'm going to have to double check. Usually it starts at 7, but we're going to be out there. You're going to see Stock Motor Killer. Yep. Stock Motor Killer V2. That one's actually V2. I'll take V1 still. The, the goal is to get the stock motors kicked out of the track. Right? Yep. If we can get in a high enough trap speed to get it kicked <laughs> out. Guys, what do you think if we see full weight STI here trap 135? That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see too. I think I'll have to trap like 180 to get kicked out of Yakima. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. I think, I think maybe moving. later on if the motor's still holding on, get yeah. a 150 trap speed. There we go. <laughs> We'll just keep sending her to the moon, boys. You guys know we're having fun with these stock motors. Stock motor motors. shoot in the back. Dude, that would be crazy. Stock motor to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we're just, dude, changing the game over here. You know, we know these things are strong and we're just having fun. But, you know. It's a champ, as long as you respect it. Yeah, as long as you yeah. just respect the car. Guys, they make great power. It's just, you know, if you don't respect the car or you mistreat it, there are you beat on it too hard they it will break it too. it's happy dude it's, it's been beaten on this thing quite a bit too oh it's happy dude it just keeps pulling the red yeah. line we raised the rev up things at 7500 yep 
Yeah, maybe on the track, she might go up a little hair more if we need it for that fourth gear RPM, but I think she's yeah. ready. Oof, can't wait. So I'm gonna get him his stuff for that. That's probably gonna wrap up his video on that. We're gonna still be working out here today. I know I got enough clips in here to last probably two or three videos. This thing has been making some progress. I got about half this turbo kit off and the rest of the turbo kit's in my eye right now. So I'm gonna take care of that and I'll check back with you guys. Oh, what's up, guy? How's it been? Good. Enjoying it? Yep. Ready for more power yet? Yeah. Like I'm always. Ready. 101. Oh, <laughs> you're ready. So that means I can load an E tune on it today and you can start getting some E85 in there. Yep. Perfect. We'll be doing that. Now, he's Valentine's here because, well, turn of events. <laughs> Alex gets his Tomei. <laughs> As I have one on the way. As he has one on the way. So his didn't come in time, so he bought another one. Really? Yep. Well, we call that race car two. life. Two now. <laughs> he's got two now. So, we've been putting this baby together for Vivid TI bolts. Damn, boys, look good. Yeah, they do. Can't wait. So, I'm going to catch up with Valentine here. Chester, he just doesn't want to leave us. He wants to hang out. He's like, fuck it, I'm moving here. Yeah. Wants to hang out for today. I live downstairs now. Yep. He's like, <laughs> I'm moving in. We're turning the moon. Well, guys, it's been an extremely long day. If you can't tell, I'm freaking exhausted. But we got Series Grey pulled apart. Uh, we got Valentine's. Tyne. Teen. I keep getting to mess up. Valentine's car. Uh, we changed his oil because he was at 500 miles, which he's ready to turn that thing up. And uh, we did a transmission service on his car with that cocktail you guys have seen. So we went ahead and knocked that out. And then in the background, Alex has been getting his car taken care of. And as you can tell, this thing is going in the car right now. So he has this thing pretty tall. And we got that brand new 6870 looking all pretty. Dude, I cannot wait. So he's getting ready to put this thing in the car. I'm sorry guys for not recording that much today. It's just been really busy lately. You've had like six people running you in different directions. Unfortunately, I just, I don't have enough time for everything. Guys, I'm trying my best, so bear with me a little bit. I know it's going to be a little bit, I don't know, patchy with YouTube probably for this next week. But he's going to be getting this thing in tonight. I know he's going to be working on it late into the night. Being that I uh, was up until about 2 a.m., I'm pretty exhausted and pretty beat so i don't know how much i'm going to be up tonight but we will be working on this tomorrow i'll try my best to record that better especially if we're tuning in the day where this camera i can actually record for you guys i will but i'm going to go ahead and help him get this thing thrown in the car hopefully we can have this thing in the next 10 15 minutes so we can beat you know our uh nice losing daylight so we're gonna get this thing thrown in the car and then i'll update you guys a little bit later on and you'll probably see this thing most Pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground, pedal to the ground 